are you all doing? Welcome to Credit TV. So today I'm going to here to answer a lot of your questions. So many questions were flowering our way. So what happened was when we did our coconut shredded video, um, many questions arise. So from this, how do you make coconut oil? From this, how do you get coconut milk? What do you use for all this in different methods for curry, desserts, whatnot? So today I'm here to answer all those questions to you. You know those kids when they would play coconut, coconut in a dish. How many pieces do you wish? We're going to do something similar to that. First, of most our hero is a coconut. So this is a nice healthy white coconut. The brown one has more flesh. The white one has more water. So if you can hear, see there's a lot of water in here. It's really good. If you're dehydrated, use this water and you will get boost up. So first we're going to crack open a coconut and I'm going to show you what to do with that. I have few tools here. Uh, the coconut itself, we need a heavy tool to crack open. I'll show you that. This is the traditional method to grate your coconut. So there is a serrated blade here. You can sit on this and start grating your coconut. And this is how I got my coconut. This is eight cups. So from one coconut, you will get eight cups of, depending on the size, okay? Don't, don't call me out on that. But depending on the coconut, you will roughly get about eight cups of coconut shredded. So, and then this, I know you're curious. Stay tuned. I'll show you how that's done. So here I have a measuring cup. What I want to do is I'm going to crack open this coconut. See those extra hair, the husk? We don't need that. So just peel those out. Is it okay if it sits there? Yeah, it's perfectly fine. It's just so that you get a nice grip on your coconut so it doesn't slide out. That's what that's for. Okay. In my previous video, I told that my husband is the one who actually does all this for us. And so many asked, or three or four people asked, are you scared to do it or are you not able to do it? What happened? I said, no, it's just that I don't trust myself with that big knife and that blade. But so here, let me show you how it's done. So this is a very shiny, sharp knife. This is what we got it from India. So what we're going to use the back end of this knife to crack open our coconut. So you, you can do this over a sink, much easier for cleanup, but I want to show you the water, right? So I'm going to go bum. It already cracked, so that fizziness is coming out. Okay. Cracked open. Okay, I have some muscle in there. Okay. Let that baby sit. So the young coconut has that fizziness, like sparkling water. This one doesn't have that much, but it has more of the water kind of that you can use to make toddy. That's a separate video that's coming by our viewers most requested video that is coming your way. Um, the next thing we can make is make desserts out of this. There's a lot of dishes that use grated coconut in recipes. Asian cooking is mainly focused on tropical stuff. We, because the area is tropical, so there's a lot of things that we can easily accessible there. So coconut is one of them. So you see, with the one big crack we were able to get about one pint, which is how many cups? Almost two cups of water. Okay, so make sure there's nothing in there. Everybody's out. Now we're going to use the rest of the cracking. Okay, okay and then we're going to use this, this side to pop, pop it open. Okay, and voila. This is what you get, okay? Nice white flesh, but the flesh is, compared to the brown coconut, the wet white is um, a little bit meat, less meaty in the white one, but the brown one has more meat in it. So if you want more grated coconut out of yours, use the brown one. If you like more water, use the white one. Simple as that, okay? Now for this, what we do is, we place this on the floor sit on top of it and start grating it like so. That's how I got eight cups worth of grated coconut. 
Let's keep those separate. This water, do not throw it away. Serious, do not throw it away. We need this to make toti. I'll show you that recipe also. So let that baby sit. Now let's talk about our grated coconut. Grated coconut, the brown stuff is actually the rim around the shell. If you don't want that, just use the white portion of it, okay? Now from this, what we're gonna do is take a mixie or a blender. I wouldn't use a food processor for this because it won't grate so much. We need to mix it really. Okay, use a blender. That way we can grind it and get most milk out of it. So all of this eight cups goes into our blender. With, without any water, we are gonna grind this into a nice paste. And I'll show you that. So the mixie goes on top of the motor and grind it. When you, once you grind it, have another bowl ready. With, I have a cheesecloth here. And what I'm gonna do is collect all of this grated coconut and I'm gonna extract the milk out of it. So that's the first extract, that's separate. We had to keep that separate because when you use the first extract coconut milk, do not let it boil if you're cooking because then it'll start splitting. So to avoid that, we have another process. I'll show you that, so stay tuned, okay? The first is done, let's open. And this is how that looks like. Okay, we're gonna put all of this into this cheesecloth. We're gonna get everything out of this. Okay, now what we're gonna do is bring all of this cheesecloth together and start squeezing out the milk. Nowadays we rely on the store bought, but this is much healthier much tastier. If you have ever made this way, any curry out of this, you'll know the difference, okay? You won't get a lot for this first extract, but slowly, I'll show you. Give some TLC to that coconut, shred it, and it will start giving out more of the milk, okay? That's our first extract. We're gonna keep that separate, and I'm gonna add back into our mixie, and I'm gonna pour in some water. I'll show you that too. All of this goes back into the blender or mixie. I'm using warm water here. So I'm just gonna measure out one cup. Why am I using one cup? So I'm gonna measure half cup for each step. So the more water you put, the diluted, the milk becomes so I don't want that I want to add about for the second press I'm going to add one cup of water perfect right on the dot one cup of water keep that separate we're going to put the lid back on and grind again and that's the second extract okay let's check beautiful let's do the second just like those so we're gonna repeat this step until we get no more water. Or um, I usually go up to four extracts. And still we can use this coconut shredder for other purposes. So I'll show you that in a separate video. Don't throw this away yet. Okay, let's get all of this out of the blender. And we're gonna do the second process. Okay, without any effort, it already started oozing out all its milk. So slowly, just ever so lightly, just press. If you haven't had your workout for the day, just shred some coconut and start making some coconut milk. It gives some nice biceps. This also can be used as an anger release, tension release, whatever. If you had a very bad workout or a bad day, you can work it out like so. Okay. So that's the second extract. See the quantity, the difference, how much we got. We're gonna add back our coconut back into the mixie, and I'm gonna show you the next step. Add another cup of water, or even three. 
So this is the second, third ex extract. So this, there's another cup of water in here. We're going to add our lid to the grinder or blender, whichever one you have, and get it on the mo motor. And let's start blending some more. Beautiful. Ha ha. Okay, now we're going to get all it out. You know the process now, right? Exactly. So we're going to repeat this. This is my third extract. Okay, here it goes. Collect all our cheesecloths together and just lift. Look at that. See? Now this will store in your fridge for up to two days. Don't, if you want to keep it in your freezer, yeah, that's also fine. Um, just have it about a couple hours prior to when you want to use it so you're not microwaving it or heating it. Okay, this is the third extract. I find cheesecloth much easier to hand do this process. Um, I have tried kitchen towel, it just didn't work out. Beautiful. So that's the third extract, my friend. We're going to add our braided coconut back into the blender and get the next set going. We're going to add another cup of water into our blender and get our fourth extract and this is the final extract that I'm going to be doing because I have another purpose for this grated coconut. Okay, let's put the lid on and start blending. Okay, I'm ready for the fourth extract. Let's get it out of our blender. Our blender use is done. Let's keep that away and look at the fourth one. As the process goes through, you'll get the color changes different. So don't worry, it's not bad. It's, that's the process of it. When you want to make, say, um, idiopum in our video, when you want to make idiopum, use the fourth extract milk to make your idiopum and it will the flavor it just turns that dish into such a rich flavor. So try that if you haven't never tried it. Usually idiopum is made with um, regular water, but this fourth extract milk can be used for that. Okay, I'm gonna collect all my cheesecloths together. It should be very, very light. See, it's somewhat clear to, it's like a milky, murky type thing. This milk can be used also when you're making patiri. That's a dish that I'm still making, working on. So that's coming on your way soon, sooner than later. We ended up with such a small bowl. See that? Okay, it's cute and all. Let's keep that separate. I have an, another purpose for that. So this is the fourth extract. So look at the color changes that we came across. So you just saw how to make your own coconut milk at home. Which one do you want? So coconut, coconut in a dish. How many do you want? This is, this is how you do it. So you don't have to rely on store-bought. You can make this at home. And uh, to find how to use it in different varieties, you got to come back. Check it out. And then I'll show you step-by-step step how to include coconut milk in your dish. We can make desserts out of it. We can make um, curries out of it. There's a lot of things we can do. There is also another tip that is coming your way. Only if you come back and visit me, I'll show you that. All right? So I hope you enjoyed this video with me. I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.